voices that are critical. Uh, yeah. Wondering if you've heard any of the criticism. Or oh, I try not to get on there, but trust me, I have seen that people have chimed in. But those people are just, they're meaningless to me, to be honest. They're a bunch of nobodies, keyboard warriors, trolls, online trolls. They're never going to be great at disc golf, and maybe they need to, like, stop typing on the Internet and go out there and practice and maybe be passionate about something instead of talking is it, uh, well, I've seen a little bit of both, okay. you know, okay. you know, okay. you know, but it's, it's criticism. You know, I, I take it for what it is, and I do feel that maybe I could take a little less time while I'm putting, and it would probably be better for my game anyhow. But, yeah, people are going to critique you no matter what, you know. The more you climb to the top, the more people you have trying to pull you down. Well, and speaking of competition, you had one other thought. You seem to follow a lot of the other professional sports, such as wrestling, <laughs> boxing, and whatnot. you have any call-outs? You want to take it there already, you, no, Terry? You I'm always want to get me going. You want to get me fired up about these people that are talking about me. We already know where that's going. I don't. No, I don't, no, I, don't, I wanted to ask about... I don't want to dive into it. You, you said that uh, Ben Askren and some others, you're ready to wrestle. I felt like I should have been invited out to Ben Askren's property. I mean, everybody knows that I love UFC. They invited a bunch of other guys, so yeah, I was a little bit butthurt. I didn't get out to the, you know, the celebrity match. What, I take 56 in the world championships and everybody wants to forget about me? Because that's how it felt. You know what I'm saying? I guarantee if I'd have taken first place, I'd have been at the celebrity match. All right, that's all we've got from Nikola Castro. Best of luck to you this weekend. I, Unless yeah. you've got something else. I, I mean, all you always those do. Come guys on. that are on the, you know, when people make a post about me, it seems there's always somebody that has something negative to say about me. Shut your mouth. Seriously, or show up to the disc golf course and bring it. That's it. Hi, Gannon. Hey. I'm Zoe Andyke here, and really just stoked to talk to you. Um, first of all, congratulations with Las Vegas Challenge. Thank you. First big, huge win in the Pro Tour? No, but I wish. Um, Sorry, runner-up. Runner uh, my up. bad, excuse That's me. Not good. But the pressure of being in that position is leading into my first question. First big, huge win? You know, I, I, I love this tournament so much, and, and it means so much to come out here. And, uh, yeah, it's just finding a, way, finding a way to win. And, uh, yeah. It's just finding a way, finding a way to win. How does a major overseas, a major in Finland, differ from what Americans would typically see at a major in the United States? Yeah, I think those those uh, little videos of James's rage and, and stuff like that are funny. Um, it, I have a unique perspective because I, I obviously do feel frustration and I'll I'll get somewhat angry, but. Um, I try to make it a point, you know, to not, not make that terribly obvious to, to people who might be watching or people on my card. I think it, it's not really fair to my competitors if I'm out there making a huge scene and um, one person's energy can kind of like bring down the energy of the whole card. So I think it's pretty important as a competitor to be a good sport and to not let the feelings that you're personally having um, really affect the whole card's energy. and. There's two things I want to ask here. One is just generally, I mean, they gained a lot. That live disc golf moment gained a lot of traction. Are, what are your thoughts on it? I mean, you did the appeal. Do you feel like it was blown out of proportion? Like, this is your personal opinion. I mean, it's your voice. Be beyond blown out of proportion. I mean, are you kidding me? Let's, let's, be, let's be serious there. It was a 35-second, one-minute situation that changed the course of my life. So yeah, I would say it was definitely blown out of proportion. And that's that's what's most important to me right now is I want to be respected by everybody that I know and everybody in the disc golf community. You know, like that's important. I I am a man of respect and I want I want to share that respect with with our community. You know what I'm saying? So oh, I didn't even know. <laughs> Um, <laughs> sorry, I thought I shot even. It was so windy out there, absolutely. Uh, so yeah, uh, that feels pretty good because, is that really what I shot? Yeah, you, okay. you really shot 600, you're 1200 for I the I saw tournament. that on shot 600 and I was like, oh my gosh, that's incredible. <laughs> sorry, it is incredible, but um, yeah, so it feels 
Uh, you know, this is something I've been looking forward to for months. Uh, I started posting reels and Instagram posts about Calvin trying to get in his head very early on. So I feel like it works. I'm, I'm in his head. You can just see it in his eyes. So feeling good. I'm curious how that's going to translate on, onto the course. Do you feel like you're going to be trying to get into your opponent's head while you're out there, Chris? Um, you know, I mean, maybe. I think we'll see how it goes. Uh, I do feel like that will happen. Um, it might be kind of hard. Calvin's pretty, uh, you know, he's Calvin. But, yeah, we'll see. It's going to take a lot of effort when you're down six through six. That's fair. Wow. You know, if, if the wind gets up, you know, I know Calvin gets a little haywire in the wind. He likes to shank it OB a little bit. So, you know, maybe, maybe that can help me out. Lucky for me, I know I can play safe since he's going to have to throw two max distance drives on the par fours, and I don't have to. So I'm lucky there. So, Calvin, what could you teach him a thing or two on? Probably his mental game. He's just fragile. He's fragile. And what aspect of Calvin's game do you think he's lacking in? Um, probably his confidence. He probably doesn't have like very much confidence in himself. Um, I stayed with him a couple months ago, and this is the first time I've told you this, but I read through your diary a little bit, and Calvin, you know, he's very hard on himself. He, um, he, he's lacking confidence, and I try to uplift him every day. I'll send him a good morning text and tell him how special he is and how he's amazing, but he's working on it. Man. If I can place as good as I do with no confidence, imagine what I could do with confidence. Exactly. That's what I try to tell you. Calvin, who's taking down this match and advancing? I'm winning. Chris, what do you got to say about that? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad he's finally, finally being confident. But uh, I'm going to do my best. Uh, you know, and we'll see what happens. Well, cool. Thanks for the interview, guys. We can best see who's lacking confidence. Of you. He's lacking confidence. I'm just a kind person. No, you should say you're winning. That's what you're supposed to say in this. Okay, I'm winning. There you go. Thank you. Back when we were on hole 13, you said that we were on the correct side, as in the west side of the Mississippi. You have a standing rule. What is that for everyone at home? Oh, you don't eat Mexican on the east side of the Mississippi, so we're barely on the good side, so fiesta. <laughs> all right. Is that going to be the uh, dinner of choice tonight to get all geared up for the lead card tomorrow? Absolutely not. <laughs> what is? Mall of America food court. <laughs> but I knew the last two holes that, uh, you know, if I, if I birdied them both, it's going to give me a really good chance, put the pressure on Kyle. And uh, the one thing I'll say is, Kyle, you need to get your own shirt because you're not winning when you're wearing mine. <laughs> Eagle. Uh, what are you looking at to do this week on the course? Um, you know, I kind of already talked about that just in like I'm lacking the killer instinct right now. I, I just don't and I don't care to get it back for some reason. Like I don't I don't actually care that I got whatever place I got. Um, I'm lacking the killer instinct right now. I, I just don't and I don't care to get it back and joining us now is jake mon and jake up until ricky just made a putt a few moments ago you were co-leader at the usdgc was i really yeah so cool. at 15 under ricky just made his putt he's got a few holes left to play but mm -hmm. nonetheless tell us how that feels i don't even know dude it, it feels really good like first year out here i was kind of yeah feels really good. That's all. I, I can't think of anything else. It feels really good. How I got here. Um, so I qualified for here at Pro Wells. Yeah. Um, uh, What's it been like? I, maybe that's a better way to What's phrase it. it. Like, like yeah. your career that brings you to this point that we're talking about you being on a lead card at USDGC. Yeah. Um, uh, what was the question again? Sorry. Here we are at this point. You're going to yeah. be on the lead card at the USDGC. Tell us what that means to you means everything man like 